Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to have a look at our Peppa Pig figure collection. We have so many different versions of Peppa, her friends and her family. In the front, we have a Peppa Pig with a red dress and little pink hearts. This Peppa has just a simple red dress. And this one has a sunflower on her dress with a pretty summer hat. This Peppa has a little yellow scarf around her neck and a matching George with the same yellow scarf. Next is our birthday set. We got these from the advent calendar in one of our other videos. Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony, and Peppa are all celebrating Peppa's birthday. How old is Peppa? Count how many candles there are in the pink cake. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six years old. The advent calendar also came with this ice cream stand. Mmm, strawberry and mint ice cream. My favorite set is the Muddy Peppa family. We have Mummy Pig, but we also get Granny Pig. And you can tell it's Granny Pig by the white eyelashes and Grandpa Pig, who has a white mustache and beard and white eyebrows with a hat. His hat has an anchor on it. Sometimes we use our muddy characters in our videos. Do you know why pigs roll in the mud? <coughs> because it keeps them cool and it also keeps bugs that bite them off their skin. Our next set is the Peppa Pig Pajama Family. I know that they're all in their pajamas because they have bare feet. See how this mummy pig has the same sort of dress? But she has black shoes on, so that's why I know she's wearing a pink nightie. Oops! Sorry, mummy pig! At Christmas time, we opened the Peppa Pig Advent Calendar and it was full of fun characters. There was a Peppa, Rebecca Rabbit, Susie Sheep, Zoe Zebra, Candy Cat, and Emily Elephant. And way in the back is a little George, and he's wearing a helmet. Why do you think George is wearing a helmet? Because the set came with a little blue scooter for George, George knows how important it is to protect his head whenever he's on a scooter or a bike. Which Peppa Pig figure was your favorite, Tiny fans? Let me know in the comments below, and maybe I'll use it in an upcoming video. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Madame Gazelle is teaching her class and playing a game outside. They're playing hangman today. There are seven students and each student is going to take turns guessing a letter. Okay, who would like to guess a letter first? Danny Dog, you have your hand up. I'll guess the letter E, please. Sorry, Danny Dog, there is no E in the word. Uh, let's see. Emily Elephant, you have your hand up. Which letter would you like to guess? I'll guess another vowel, an A. Sorry, Emily Elephant, there is no A in the word. And next is Rebecca Rabbit. You have your hand up. What would you like to guess? I'd like to guess the letter I. Another vowel, please. Yes, there is an I. It's the middle letter in the three-letter word. Good job. Okay. Oh, Candy Cat is sitting quietly with her hand up. What would you like to guess? I'd like to guess the letter T, please. No, there is no T. But you have spelt the word eat. <laughs> Out of the letters you chose. Okay, uh, Susie Sheep, 
What would you like to guess? I'd like to guess the letter P. Yes, there's a P at the beginning of the word. Peppa Pig, you have your hand up. I'd like to guess the word. Is it the word pig? <coughs> yes, Peppa, you guessed it. P I G. Pig, like Peppa Pig. After they play hangman, all of the students line up nicely. No pushing or shoving. They climb in one at a time. They're heading back to the school for snack time. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Mummy, Daddy, thank you so much for taking us to the aquarium today. I'm so excited. Where do we get the tickets, Daddy? Oh, I think the ticket booth is over here. I'll be right back. Okay, we're all paid and now we can go in. I think this is the first exhibit. Follow me up here. Look, Daddy, look. It's the sea lions. I think the lady is about to feed the sea lions fish. Oh, 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 oh. It says here that sea lions don't chew with their teeth. They swallow the fish whole. Oh, look. Look under here. It's like a little cave. There are all kinds of fish. Look, George. Lobster. Yes, George, that's a lobster. Look, Mummy, Daddy, there's a phone. I think that you should pick up that phone, Peppa. It's going to tell you interesting facts about the fish in the tank. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, listen, George, they talk about the fish. Oh, fishies. We are now going into the roundabout. And it says no drinks and no tapping on the glass because it scares the fish. So please, no knocking on the glass. You can go first, Peppa. Whee! Oh, this is so much fun, George. Hop on. Wee! Oh, look, George, it's one of the sea lions diving underwater. Now we are going to the 360 degree submarine window. It's over here to our right. Oh, look, I can see a green seahorse. You go have a look, George. Octopus! Octopus! Let's go look in this tank, George. Do you see anything? Crab! Oh, yes! There's a crab! Did you know crabs have eight legs, George, just like spiders do? And look over there. It's a sea urchin. It's stuck to the glass. Even though sea urchins look pretty, you don't ever want to touch them, George. Their spikes can hurt you. Look, there's another one over there. What are you reading, Daddy? Well, Peppa. I'm reading about the plastic in the ocean and it's killing the sea life. There are all different kinds of plastic in the ocean, bags and bits, and the fish are swallowing them and it can make them sick. There is just too much plastic in the ocean and plastic is toxic. 
I learned about this in school. Turtles swallow plastic bags thinking they're jellyfish. That's why we need to all do our part. I was walking on the beach the other day and I found a plastic bag in the water. So I pulled it out and threw it in the trash can. It's important to not litter because the wind can carry the plastic into the water. Oh, Mummy, I wish that one day there was no more plastic in the ocean. We hope so too, Peppa. <coughs> well, it's time to head home. I hope you enjoyed your visit to the aquarium. Let's all try and do our part and work together to save our oceans and the creatures that live in it, big and small. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. It's a wet day today. Puppy, the kids and I are on a hike in the forest. We love being in the trees and exploring. And of course we brought Muddy Peppa, Rebecca Rabbit, Mummy Pig, and Candy Cat. We've already discovered a creek. This forest is full of moisture, which means there is lots of fungus growing. One of the kids has pointed out this fallen tree with a very unusual looking white fungus. We won't touch it. We will just observe. Further up the path, we discover a tree that has fallen and all of the roots have come out of the ground. Maybe there was a wind or maybe the tree was just old. Peppo, what are you doing? She's discovered these unusual holes in the bark of these trees. Maybe it was a bird, or maybe it was some bugs. Let's see how tall this tree is. Mummy Pig has discovered something very unusual. These are called forest lichen trumpets. See how they look like the end of a trumpet? And Rebecca Rabbit has found a giant black slug. Ooh, it doesn't have a shell, but it oozes a lot of mucus. It's heading right towards Rebecca Rabbit. She reaches out and, oh, touches the slug. You need to wash your hands now, Rebecca Rabbit. You don't know what's in that mucus. Uh oh one of the bridges we're crossing has been broken. We need to be very careful. It's also slippery because it's been raining. And believe it or not, there was a little stream and there must have been some kids in the forest earlier who created a bridge of their own out of sticks. Perfect for our toys. Candy Cat is nervous about the bridge, so she stands in the green moss on the rock. Okay, tiny fans, let's play hide and seek. Do you see our Peppa toys in the forest? Okay, tiny fans, YouTube recognizes channel's success with subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed and you're a fan, please do so by hitting the link below so we can continue to make videos every single day. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We were busy in the kitchen baking today because Tiny Treasures had a school project, learning to pipe icing onto sugar cookies. First, we made the dough, rolled it out and cut them into different shapes. There are hearts, of course which Peppa loves hearts, as you can see by her dress. And we cut out some bigger circles, smaller circles. And then if we go over to this container, we made some stars. Next, it was time to make the icing in the mixing bowl. We wanted to change the color, so we used Color Garden plant-based food coloring a healthier alternative to regular food coloring. There was red, orange, yellow, 
green, and blue. And they had ingredients like beets and carrots to make natural colors. We mixed a few drops of coloring to the icing and then put them in these piping bags. Each tip has a different design. And when you squeeze it out, it makes maybe a flower or a swirl. Let's give Peppa an icing hat. Hello, do you like my hat? Yes, I do. Now it's time to decorate our cookies with the icing. We had a peachy orange color, simple white, and a very light lavender color. Tiny Treasures is doing a very good job. They look like little flowers all over the cookie. You can add as many different colors of icing to one cookie as you would like. And there are many different designs depending on the tip you use. The cookies are all done. It's time to dig in and eat one. I think Peppa wants to eat the star. Which one would you choose, tiny fans? Now, if you like our channel, please help our channel continue to grow by subscribing. It's free and easy. Just click the link below. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Once again, the Peppa Pig family is all muddy from jumping in muddy puddles. That's what pigs love to do. Peppa is already clean. She's had a shower all on her own and ready to go to a friend's birthday party. Bye, Mama. I'm off. My ride is here. We have a big white bathtub for our Peppa Pig toys. And we're missing one thing some water and in a few minutes we're going to add something very fun to the water first let's go in daddy pig and we have mummy pig and we have a muddy granny pig and a little muddy george pig and we are going to add this color changing bath bomb and it has natural essential oils and it's going to change colors red blue purple or in french rouge but i don't think the h should be there then we have bleu and violet it's wrapped in striped tissue paper so let's just open it up And the bath bomb is light pink in color and mm, it smells like fresh flowers. Let's plop it in the water and watch what happens. Instantly, the water reacts with the bath bomb and it starts to dissolve. And there's a bright burst of red color in the water. And now I can already see the blue starting to come out. Red and blue make what color? Red and blue make the color purple. And so as the blue starts to mix with the red, the water takes on a dark purple color. Over time, you can see the bath bomb is getting smaller. There aren't as many bubbles. Let me see if I can fish it out with my hand. We'll see how small it is. It looks like a bright piece of coral. 
And this is the final color of our water. It's very dark. And the pig family is all clean and relaxing in their pajamas in the living room. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going for a bike ride with Peppa and Daddy Pig. Of course, they're wearing their helmets. Always wear a helmet when you ride a bike. Daddy Pig has a red bike. Peppa Pig has a bright blue bike. Riding your bikes together with your family is a great activity. And it also provides you with some exercise and fresh air. Peppa rides in the front and Daddy Pig follows behind Peppa. Today our bike ride is on a nature trail and we're going to make some stops along the way. We'll see some waterfalls, mossy rocks, and lots of colorful leaves. In the fall time, the weather starts to get cooler and the tree's leaves change to yellow, orange, or red and they start to fall off the trees. We've arrived at our first bridge. This bridge was built so that we can cross over a deep canyon or a creek. It's a long ways down. I don't hear any running water and I don't see a creek. So this bridge just crosses over a deep canyon. I hop on my bike and continue along the bridge. Shortly after I cross the bridge, I see something very interesting. It was a tiny little garter snake. I didn't want to get too close and scare the little guy. So we kept on going and stopped again. There's a little stream that ran across the path. Oh, look, Daddy Pig and Papa. It's a little pond, perfect size for our toys. Peppa hears some water running. We stop on another bridge and find a beautiful little waterfall. In the springtime, that waterfall will be running a lot faster because the snow will be melting on the mountains. Our next stop is the Mossy Rocks. Do you see Peppa and Daddy Pig on the rocks? It's a huge rock face has different kinds of moss and plants growing on it. This was our last stop on our ride. What a wonderful day! And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye! Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Peppa Pig and Mummy Pig are going for a ride in the canoe today. But before they take the canoe out in the water, what do they need for safety, tiny fans? Life jackets. Mommy Pig has a yellow life jacket that matches her yellow dress. There we go. It's a perfect fit. Peppa has a red life jacket and it matches her red dress. Mummy Pig will sit in the back of the canoe. Peppa Pig, whoops, sorry Peppa, will ride in the front of the canoe. Mummy Pig will use the paddle. But it can't go in the sand. Mummy Pig, Peppa Pig, you still need to push the canoe into the water. They both use their strong muscles to slowly push the canoe towards the water. They're going to go fishing today. Hop in, Peppa. Thanks, Mommy.
and off they go. Our family, including Puppy, always wears a life jacket, whether we're on a boat, canoe, paddleboard, or even a tube. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to our equestrian show where we have beautiful white horses and three very talented riders. Peppa and her dad are at the equestrian show today. Peppa notices one thing different about one of the horses. Do you see what it is? Look closely. One horse isn't wearing a purple harness and pink feather on its face. Peppa wonders what happened. Why doesn't this horse have a harness? There it is. It fell off. Peppa picks it up and takes it over to the ring. She doesn't get too close and waits for the guy in the red suit to come over. Thank you very much, young lady. We were looking for this harness. He puts it back on the white horse. If someone in my family or one of my friends has lost something important to them, I help them look for it. What do you do to help out your parents, brother or sister? It's important to help our family and it shows that we care. The show is over. It's time for Peppa and Daddy Pig to go home. It looks like Kitty wants to sit on the platform. Let's move the toys out of the way. And then she can sit on it. There you go, Kitty. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're outside with Peppa Pig by the Wishing Well. We're going to go on an Easter egg hunt using Peppa's very own Easter egg hunt basket. Oh, and look at Peppa. She's eating a big chocolate egg and it's all over her face. Silly Peppa. Where should we look first? Peppa wants to head over to the tree. She spots something. Do you see it, tiny fans? It's actually two foiled eggs. Hmm, I wonder if they are chocolate eggs, Peppa. We'll put each of them in her basket. Let's keep searching. Peppa wants to go to the playground. Do you see any eggs? There are two on the slide, a foiled wrapped egg and a golden egg. Now let's head to the gardens. You tell me if you see anything, tiny fans. There's a green foiled egg and a blue foiled egg. Your basket is starting to get full, Peppa. We don't have much more room. There is only one egg left to find. We're going to look by the playhouse. Do you see another golden egg? There it is. Let's head inside and have a look at all of your goodies, Peppa. Come on, puppy. Look who's waiting for us at the door. It's Kitty. And she loves to stare at Puppy. Mm. 
Let's dump all of our Easter goodies onto the table. First, I'm going to open a golden egg. What could be inside? It's a little baby chick. Tweet, tweet. And another one in the other golden egg. Now let's unwrap a chocolate surprise for Peppa. You can have one egg today, Peppa. Too much chocolate can give you a tummy ache. Uh-oh, here comes Kitty. No, Kitty, chocolate is not good for animals. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.